Hi everyone, Manny Gomes here with Guaranteed Rate, and today I want to talk to you about hiring a real estate agent. Now, I've been doing this for many, many years, and I always ask the question, how did you find your realtor? And quite often I hear, well, I saw them at an open house or I went online or they, you know, I got something in the mail and those are all great ways to find an agent. But when I asked, oh, so what made you choose this agent? The responses are normally like, well, I, I, I kind of just like them. He was a nice guy or she was nice. And, and that's pretty much what cemented their decision to move forward with an agent. Not that there's anything wrong with having a likability with somebody and choosing to work with them for that reason, but let's be real here. Your home is the biggest purchase you're ever gonna make and the decision to choose someone to kind of navigate you through the purchase or the sale of the biggest investment you'll have or may ever have is hanging on your liking somebody. So a lot of people tend to make a decision based on hiring someone at times based on the level of experience. And in some industries that may hold true and others it doesn't. And in my personal experience, the number of years a realtor has been working in the real estate industry has zero correlation with the level of effectiveness that they have in a real estate transaction. I have seen realtors who've been doing real estate for 20 years and they've been making the same mistake for 20 years. So they've been really in real estate one year, 20 times over. Now, let me ask you, do you want to hire somebody to represent you on your biggest purchase who's been making the same mistake for 20 years in a row? The problem is it's hard for you to identify who that person may be. So one way to really hone in and see if someone is, is really a true professional is whether or not they identify themselves as a real estate advisor. Advisors are different than agents. An agent will pretty much take your marching orders and, and carry them out to the best of their ability. An advisor is going to really kind of push against what you may tell them a little bit because they're protecting you from yourself. And that's something I just find myself doing quite often in my own line of work is I find people who believe they know what they want and they believe they know what's best for them. And then once I kind of push back a little bit and, and give them a different perspective, I open up some, some mode of thinking that they've never thought of before. And now they're making different decisions based on that. And that's what a real estate advisor is going to do is they're going to make you see a home that's, that's beautiful in a neighborhood that's going against what you originally told them you're looking for, right? Or they'll make you realize that the home that you feel is dear to your heart that you've raised your family in and you have a sizable price idea in your mind for that they may they kind of gently tell you that a buyer may not be willing to pay that price for that home the biggest mistake i normally see people make when listing their property is placing a value on the home that does not meet what a buyer is willing to pay for it they're, they're putting, placing a value based on their, their personal connection with the home. And that's great that they have that personal connection with the home, but a really seasoned agent is going to be able to identify that and, and kind of talk to you in a way that's going to make you identify that. And then you're gonna be a little bit more realistic when it comes to the actual sales price. Another way to vet out an agent is simply Google them. Right, With Google, you're gonna get a wealth of knowledge based on a realtor, based on the company that they're working for. You're gonna be able to identify reviews, see how many past sales that they've had. If they, if their past sales number in a number that you can count on one hand, they may not have enough reps. I mean, they have not, may not have the level of experience in terms of transactions that will warrant the level of true experience and transactionally that will be able to allow them to really navigate you effectively through the process. Not only that is the active agents in the areas or the active teams of agents in the areas, they, they kind of know the community, they know the players in the community. Uh, when people are looking to negotiate with one another, if they know each other, the negotiations are always a little easier. That's gonna actually even benefit you. They're just gonna be, make the whole process a little smoother. Now, there's not to say you can't get someone that's new, young, and hungry that could represent you to the greatest of their ability, that's 100% that's possible. You could, get, you could find someone that's truly young and hungry, limited in experience, but vast in their ability to get the right answers. I'm not saying discount them. If you could identify someone who will work their ass off for you, 
please go for them, but make sure you ask them the right questions, especially if you're listing your home. Like, what is the average list to price ratio in the neighborhood? That's one, right? How many days on market are homes typically sitting, sitting for? That's two, right? And it, and it goes from there. You can just ask a couple simple questions that will identify whether or not this person understands the current local market. Lastly, I've been working in this area for many years. I know a lot of phenomenal agents in Fairfield County. If you need a personal recommendation to someone to give you an idea of what your home may be worth to a buyer or someone to represent you as a buyer looking for a property, I know agents who are extremely effective when it comes to negotiations and it comes to handling the entire process so that buying a home can not be a headache and a drain on your time. So if you have um, any questions for me, mortgage-wise, feel free to always reach out to me. If you know someone who needs to get qualified and determine what they will get approved for, my link to my application is below. It takes 10 to 15 minutes to complete it. It's super easy, and then I'm super responsive as well. Thank you very much.